Welcome to the Living the Dream Podcast with Curveball. If you believe, you can achieve. Hello and welcome to another episode of Living the Dream with Curveball. I'm your host, Curveball, and today I am joined by Linda Thompson. She is a former public health social worker for moms and single families. She is also a health and life coach. Linda, thank you for joining me today. And thank you for the opportunity. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Why don't you start off by giving everybody a little bit of your background and and telling us uh, just who you are and Okay, like you just said, I am Linda P. Thompson, and for 27 plus years, I was a public health social worker. I worked at a maternity clinic serving moms and families, single moms and family, helping them navigate through the the challenges of life and promoting healthy pregnancies and healthy families. I also um, was involved with child, um, child abuse and domestic violence. I worked a uh, real diligent in the community on different um, with different associations, and I'm proud to say that I um, was awarded upon my retirement in 2018 the Old North State Award, which is the Governor's Award. I mean, it's an uh, award that you get from the Governor's Office for your years of service and volunteering in the community. So that is something that I'm really, really proud of. And I'm also an author of two books. Um, the first one is Jealousy or Envy is Your Killer in You, Stop the War Within to Be Set Free. And the second book is Speak Positively and Expect the Victory, Words of Wisdom. And both of these books deal with um, words, how powerful words are, and words can either destroy or words can build up. And I'm also working on a collaborative book of 40 women all over the world. I'm really proud about that. We all have a chapter um, that we that we um, will have in the book. And that book will be out in February. So I'm really, um, really proud of all of that. Well, tell us as much as you can about that notebook. How, how did you guys um, collaborate and, and who okay. brought up the idea of coming up with that book? And, and what is it going to be about? Sounds okay. interesting. Okay, the book is on um, re- re- resilience, um, not quitting, and a different chapter. Each chapter is on um, ladies are sharing a piece of them, um, how they overcame certain things, and giving tips on on different things. Because a lot of them are authors and coaches, and you know, from all walks of life, walks of life, and we um, we collaborate through Zoom, we have meetings in regards to the book. The association that um, is publishing the book is the Women's Speaker Association. It's a wonderful um, global association and they are the ones who are publishing the book. And so we are all we all have gotten together to put out, get our message out. The chapter that I um, have in the book is on um, be positive and don't quit be positive, stay positive and don't and don't quit. And I share a moment when um, dealing with COVID, being shut in, that was something that I'm not used to because I've been active in the community, going to the gym and doing all these things. So I had a moment where I was laying on the couch watching TV and I'm like, oh boy, I'm beginning to miss my family. <laughs> you know, I was having one of those moments and I told a friend of mine, I got to, hey, I got to go, you know, go, out of state, visit my son and be with his family just to, you know, to get that boost because I'm a hugger. I love, you know, you know, family and all that. So I knew at that point I had to leave where I was, you know, kind of have a retreat. And um, so I did just that. And I went to visit my son and family. And while I was there, I started back working on some projects and things that I, I was working on. So um, a lot of times we have to reboot, reset, you know, because COVID, this moment that we're living in now, it's, it's different from all, for all of us. And none of us were prepared because we didn't know this was going to happen. 
So the book is all about, the collaborative book is all about us encouraging others and sharing a little piece of us, you know, in that book. Absolutely. And for those who don't know, tell us about the Women's Speaker Association. What do they do and what's their goals? The Women's Speaker um, Association, is the goal of that is for women from all over the world to come together to mastermind and help each other on with their projects, their businesses, or whatever they're going doing. And there's a platform there where um, you know, they let you come and share um, the projects or the things that you're working on as well. So it's a, a hands-on, you, you know, if you have questions about anything, you can reach out to some of the other ladies because they've either, they're doing what you've done or they've been through the struggles or whatever. So it's a close knit. I, I can truly say it's, it's really like a family of women together and we can come together all over the world, no matter where we are. And we do a lot of that through, um, through Zoom. That is, it's a, it's a great organization. I just, I just love it. I've been a part for um, going on three years now with the um, Women's Speakers Association. Absolutely. So what got you started in everything that you're doing now, the social work, the life coach stuff and, and being an author? Okay, what got me started, um, it was because of where I came from. My parents, my, my father, he was a minister and my mother was supportive of, you know, they both was Christian. And I saw them as a little girl helping people, you know, giving food, clothes, and um, just doing things to empower people. So at a young age, I knew one day I wanted to be a social worker because of the ministry that I saw that they did and the rewards that, you know, that it brought to other people's lives and the way that people's lives was changed. So, um, and so I, I went to college, I graduated with a degree in sociology and psychology, another degree, you know, which helped deal with people and let you understand people. And from that, I um, had different jobs. I worked in the prison with the male population and that was interesting and I learned a lot from that and I also worked with the um the population of um the women in the halfway houses and we helped them um you know um, transition back into society and that was a rewarding job as well because those ladies they they um worked they went to school and you know we did different things with them to help them transition and then later on, I um, the last job that I had was the public health social worker working in the maternity clinic, serving those moms. And um, those, the clients that we had, you know, they, everybody wants to, Curtis, everybody wants the same thing. And that's, you know, to be successful and, and to have a good way, uh, you know, to live well and do all these things. But some people need a, need a little bit more um, someone to help them navigate through, you know, through life and so um, and help with challenges that they had. So that was a, a rewarding position as well. And some of our clients went to school to be social workers, nurses. Some ended up having their own businesses and things like that. So um, that was a, that was in the helping field. So when I decided that it was time for me because of my two books, I couldn't really promote my books and things while I was working. So I was like, okay, now if I make this transition myself, what I wanna do next? And that was when I um, became certified, a certified health and life coach, which is still a position to help um, women, that empower women or individuals to navigate through life. Um, if they burnt out or stressed out or wanna reinvent themselves or something like that. I can still help, you know, and empower people to do that. So I guess as you can see throughout the years, it's always been, you know, uh, empowering people or helping people navigate through whatever season or wherever they are in life for the better. And a lot of people, um, they look at me as, a, and I am a positivity <laughs> like specialist, you know, because one thing about it, and people say, if you be around Linda long enough, you're gonna change for the better because that's just the way it is. 
And um, I always tell people it's, it's about a choice. We always have to make choices and it's up to you which path you wanna go, but the doors of opportunities are open for everyone. So um, that's how I got to where I am. And, <laughs> and I, I plan to continue. And I do a lot of speaking now virtually and my messages are on resilience and, and don't quit and um, to stay positive because a lot of people are hurting, especially now with uh, COVID and the shut the pandemic, I'll say, because there's a whole, <laughs> COVID is just one thing, but there's a whole lot of other things going on in different areas in the world. And people need someone, you know, that, that they can talk to and need uh, some, something that they can hold on to, need a word of hope or a word of positivity. And because with um, the way things are now, domestic violence is on, is on the rise. I wrote an article um, in October about domestic violence, what it is and, and uh, what it's not and, and those kind of things. So it's, it's um, I feel I was put on this planet, you know, to help people life change and I'm, I'm doing that. And I'm very, very proud of that. And that's what this podcast is all about to motivate and inspire others. And speaking about the topics that you were talking about that you speak on, why are those topics so, why are you so passionate about those topics? Well, with my own life experiences and um, with all the positions that I've, um, I've worked in, I've, I, see, I've, I see that people, um, we go through so many things and we, negativity doesn't do anything to help us. So we have to pull down deep, even when, and I, I know how it feels when someone um, betrays you or someone says mean things about you and they really don't know you. I guess I would say judge you without even getting to know you. Um, and I know that um, bullying is real, you know, and you don't have to be a kid to be bullied. Adults bully as well, you know, on the job in different places. So, and um, I, you know, I've dealt, like I said, I've dealt with domestic violence and, and I know how words hurt and things like that. And it's just um, a passion. And the reason I wrote my book, Curtis, is because um, the first one was jealousy or envy is their killer of you. Stop the war within and be set free. It's talking about emotions of people co um, competing with one another. Um, you know, hating on someone just because they got the house, the car, the job, or or it looks like they have a wonderful family and you don't, and you know, you're comparing and you do things, say things to um, tear down someone's reputation. And so I said, hmm, this is, and then you don't hear, and the main reason is because you don't hear it preached about jealousy and competition, you don't hear that preached a lot in the in the um, faith community. And that was um, a reason that I did it too, so that um, my books could be used in um, um, workshops and, and Bible studies and book signings and things like that. And, and that has happened. So, um, and I've had, had a lot of pastors tell me, Linda, I'm glad you wrote this book, you know, and it, it even has enlightened them you know, where they are now, you know, using it in their congregation. And that was one of my main goals that the faith community would, um, you know, would embrace it. And I can say that I'm, I'm very happy about that. Both of my books are, I'm, I'm a faith person. I, I saw a lot of miracles growing up and, and, um, and I believe in the word. And a lot of my, both of my books, have reference to scriptures and encouraging words and things like that. And I have been told by some of the readers, I'm glad you put those scriptures in there. Some I hadn't heard, you know, I didn't, hadn't heard before. And I just love the um, encouraging words. So if you're not, a, if you don't like a lot of scriptures or don't like encouragement, then those books are not for you. Um, and uh, another thing about the books, they don't have to be read in the order of um, the chapter. You can read it in any order because 
they're more like a reference book than a, um, you know, a book you're reading from story plot and all of that. It's, it's not that kind. It's, it's where you can, if you want to read a chapter about being single, or if you want to read a chapter about grieving, or a chapter on married life, family life, or coping, or what jealousy is, you can just skip around to the chapters, and, and that's what makes it nice. So it sounds like the books are set up on a read as need basis. Where can the okay. books be found? Um, online, any online store, of course, Amazon. And um, I do have my, my website is, is linked to Amazon as far as ordering the books as well. And my website is www.lindaspeaker.com. And if you click on the book there, it'll take you straight to Amazon, or you can go straight to Amazon or any other online bookstores. How can people connect with you on social media or any other kind of platform other than your website? Yes, I am on Facebook. And I also um, would like to say for during this time, if someone is lonely or needs some extra encouragement, I do have a Facebook group called Life Transformation by Speaking Positively. And they can... um, send a request to join the book. And I try to send out something um, inspirational and other people send things as well. And I will start doing more um, videos, you know, on different topics. So if there's anyone out there, they can um, look at the Facebook group, Life Transformation by Speaking Positively. And uh, I will let them in, I will accept them. And I am on LinkedIn as well. And I'm beginning, I'm learning the social media a little bit more and I I will be active on Instagram and and Twitter as well, but I'm more active on Facebook and LinkedIn than anything else. But if they want to send me a comment, if you can just say, Linda, I I just have a question for you or Linda, can I have a one, a complimentary one-on-one session with you, you know, for 15, 20 minutes, I'll do that, you know, because we never know, you know, how we can help someone and I I am available. I can help you navigate you or refer you to someone, you know, whatever you might need, but I would like for you to reach out. And on my website, there is an email um, list. You can put your name on my email list for um, workshops or events or things like that coming up, but feel free to contact me. That's that's fine. Well, other than your book, do you have any speaking engagement or any upcoming projects in the future? Yes, I do. Um, in February, I'll be speak. Not February. Um, in December, I will be speaking with um, Right Side Promotion. I do a lot of events with them, and I've I've had one Monday night with them speaking. And um, each month I, I'm speaking somewhere on Zoom. And next week I have, I think, another podcast to do. And one tomorrow, I do believe. Yes, and I've done a, a couple of this month. So I'm staying pretty busy, um, you know, getting the word out, the message out about my books. Absolutely. Is there any other topics that we haven't discussed that you would like to touch on? Well, um, just hope. Um, I would like to say to the audience, don't give up. This, um, I hear a lot of people say, Curtis said, this is the new norm. (laughs) And I said, no, not for me. I don't believe this is the new norm. I will say this is the now. We live in in the now, but I do believe that things are going to get better. And I will say to people, reach out. We have to, I'm old school. If you have to reach out to somebody by you know, picking up the phone instead of just texting or um, video chat with someone or send them a card. Do something to keep yourself motivated. You know, get in your car and drive up the street a couple of blocks or drive to the next town. Do something. Don't be sad. Don't be lonely by yourself. Reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Linda Thompson. Linda, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. It has been my pleasure. And hopefully I'll get a chance to see you again. Thank you. 
For more information on the Living the Dream podcast, visit www.djcurveball.com. Until next time, stay focused on living the dream.